it's really hard to start from nothing. Especially with a large painting, I start with a small sketch for the idea that I would like to start with. In terms of the formal aspect of the painting, I just staple them on the wall directly. But most of the painting, with a starting point, the moment I have it, I start building up on it. And when I finish certain part of the painting, most of the time the starting point I disappear. I erase it or I paint over it. I assume all the artists talk about their experience when they create something. It doesn't matter which kind of material. I disagree with anyone who will say they don't really care about their life experience. So from my point of view, it's just the, the core of my work. On the other hand, I do feel an artist has um, like a moral responsibility to look to the issue that affects us as a human being in daily basis. The moment I start knowing what things is going on around me and I have tools to visualize them, I start doing it. Violence and chaos and it's hand-to-hand uh, -hand with the human exists. In general, we associate the chaos and the violence with the shade of gray or brown. It's like a cool color. For me, it just, it's just very important to break that uh, barrier and just uh, address it with unexpected color palette. Titling meaning that like you guide, make it easier for other people to look at it, which is it's not my business. Actually, it's my business to make it complicated. I spend more than a month making a painting, so why do you expect to understand everything in two minutes? I hope that if there is four or five people who will look to the painting at the same time, they will interrupt it in a different way. Each one will based on their knowledge and life experience. I hope the painting will have some impact on, on us. We all know that really we are in a huge chaos. Life is keep going and we all, most of us, we pretend these things does not exist. I feel this is what I should do. It's just my responsibility as an artist. <laughs>